What's up guys, this is Void of This Gaming, your channel for fresh arena of Valor content. I play a couple of matches with some of my in-game friends and there will be some series going on with these people. So don't worry if you see a lot of names that might even be something that you have get to know on this channel. So in today's match, I want to focus on Richter, a champion I'm not playing that often. But it was the last round today. Um, we are looking at the 10th of January with Richter. I had great fun. The game was actually really nice. And uh, it might have been the case that there have been some AFK things going on. But I was playing against a full online Volkarf. And I wanted to share this piece of content with you because I think it's actually quite interesting and as I said I had great fun to play that and therefore the video will be great fun as well. So without further ado let's start with the build so that you guys know what I brought to the battlefield. As you can see in my armory in, uh, equipment layout I am focusing mainly on damage with a lot of damage items and then I'm taking the reworked Shield of the Lost because this is the one that's going to reduce the attacker's attack speed and I'm going with the Blade of Eternity as my last item. Um, Arcana wise I decided <laughs> to go with my Marksman Warrior build, plain and simple, increasing our normal attacks, armor pierce and movement speed. If you ask yourself how do you do that, this is 10 times Onslaught, it's 10 times Assassinate and it's 10 times Skewer and it has worked really well for most of the Warrior heroes so feel free to copy that. Enchantment wise I decided to go with Curse of the Death normal attacks and skills that hit an enemy will inflict a mark and that's going to deal additional damage that's really really nice because we're going to deal a lot of damage with that with the Deadly Claw and the Shadow Blade because we've got um, two movement spells this is going to be the damage setup. And in the second line, you can see that I picked League of Humans and I'm going with Enhanced Restore to have a little bit more surveillability. And that's going to come in handy against the fight with Volkov. And I'm going with Gunslinger to boost our stats overall just a little, little bit. So this is the build. And now let's start with some gameplay. Here we go. And now you should have some sound. Unfortunately, Arena of Valor sometimes just stops the audio sequence in the game. I don't know when or why this happens, but in this case you will have some audio files here. Um, eventually, I don't see the marker to be running, but well, whatever you are going to listen, uh, you are going to listen to my beautiful voice then in full without any distractions. So, as I said, we're going against Volkov on the solo lane. We've got Zill in the jungle. He is the random player. The rest of the team is a 4Q composition. We've got Dirac uh, on the mage lane spot. And there will be Hayate as well as Lumbur in the duo lane. So this is the main setup. And uh, first of all, let's just kill some Volkarth here because we don't really need him in the lane. And uh, that was actually quite favorable. Now we've got the L'Oreal as well as the uh, butterfly approaching but I just said to myself let's play defensively we don't need to get in here we can just easily repel those minions get some farm here and Dira can go home to safety and we de do not really have anything that can defeat us. Uh, if you ask yourself why I did take the health flask and now I'm porting back I was just trying to uh, maintain some health because I wasn't too sure if L'Oreal and um, Butterfly would not have taken the chance. Um, I mean, there was the chance that they would have dived me and I was just on the, the, the spot to get a little bit more health to prevent that dive on being successful. So that was my intention when I was taking the health pack. But I just felt it might be a little bit safer to go back and fight her or fight them with a little bit more health instead. So we're going up against Volkarth and as you can see his initial damage is actually quite good. So he's beating me on that behalf but now I don't know he's going to yeah he's going to get to the mid lane and therefore I took the chance to farm a little bit here on the solo lane on the top lane uh, finishing my Gilded Greaves here. 
I'm taking Gilded Greaves for the crowd control reduction because Richter is a champion that's usually going in. Um, we just had a crazy game where L'Oreal was just beating the crap out of us. So I wanted to have some magic resistance as well. And now I was waiting for Volkov to appear on the lane. Um, didn't really know if he's going to go through the river or if he might just take the... Yeah, he, he just took that stuff where I don't have vision on him. But as you can see, I don't think that he was aware of the fact that I might just be waiting for him. And uh, that said, I had an easy time just to get away. It's really, really easy with Richter to avoid fighting if you've got your invulnerability up. Um, if you stored two stacks of that and you've got your movement buff from the river as well. So... It's kind of difficult to take on Richter if he really wants to escape. We still have Flicker left, so even if L'Oreal would have started to chase me, that would mean that I could eventually escape. And now we've got Volkov here, who is trying to get me with his ability. Don't know what he's thinking right now, and you are going to see for yourself that he now starts attacking the Spirit Sentinel. I don't even know what that meant. Like, did he think that I was about to escape here? I don't see a reason for that. Now, we need to be a little bit careful because he is about to enter his um, invincible state. That just happened, but we were able to get the Spirit Sentinel, unfortunately, without the cool buffing things, but at least we got it, and we just showed him who is the boss in the house, and that's also something which is quite important, this psychological aspect. You want to put pressure on the enemies, you want to show them your dominance, and you should do that whenever possible without overextending too much. And regular <laughs> viewers know that I'm overextending too much many, many times. He still stays on the lane. I think that is not the smartest decision yet, because as you can see, he is actually quite low. And uh, I even thought about... Should I dive in, like I was thinking about using Flicker and then going in with two movement spells from the brush, which is uh, the knock-up effect. But then I wanted to play it a little bit more safely. From time to time, <laughs> from time to time, I do have this kind of mindful experience where I just say to myself, like, I should, I should definitely not go in. Um, got the kill here on Baldoom. Now I need to be careful because, as you can see, Volkov is in his ultimate state. But as I said, it's kind of hard to chase Richter down if he's got all of his skills ready as well as Flicker. And therefore, it wasn't really a problem to escape. <coughs> and while my team was fighting in the jungle, in our own jungle, I just asked him, do you need my support or can I go up to my lane freely? And as you can see, they're handling the fight quite good and therefore i went up to safety go back to my lane get a couple of health stuff in here and uh, there's the first kill on volkath from dirac being quite aggressively but i think that's a good way to play that hero and now we are on about to take a little bit of the health of the middle tower if suitable but i just decided to go back and recall and now you will see that baldoom just entered the fight and i was like out of the middle of nowhere, I decided to go in. As you can see, I was trying to point my spell direction into his uh, direction, but I decided to just go back and play it a little bit more safe. And that will come in handy quite later uh, on because it's actually quite helpful if you don't feed yourself into the enemies because it's actually making them stronger, which is not really something that is... Uh, something that you don't know so that was actually really really fun <coughs> they were just staying a little bit too long i suppose giving us the upper hand here and again we are against the volkov trying to deal with him in a duel and i don't really see the chances of him being too high because he has i think zero kills so far and i've got four so that means that i'm in the gold lead right now and uh because I was playing him a little bit more defensively at the start, I had a good feeling that we could take him now on a little bit more aggressively if we just play it like that. And uh, I was just looking for that tower, and I was like, whoa, this tower is really, really low. So I baited him into leaving the tower, and you guys are going to see what happens next. Uh, he's eating a tower shot, 
and just look at the health of his tower like this tower is gone so now we've got a good chance on re-engaging him and um, was playing a little bit with him and as you can see our damage is just crazily good if he's not in all state i mean yes it was close but there were no minions around that could harm me and i just decided to go back immediately because there might be some butterflies running around but as you can see the enemy team is dead and we've got a triple kill on Dirac and he told me to mention it in the video but I think it was quite obvious to mention it because that was well played the enemy team is wiped our team is still standing so we've got the best possibilities to win this match and I think we're doing great progress we are s sitting on an 18 versus 8 that was a um BF and Balheim AFK that's really that's really sad if that is the case I didn't see it at the end of the video like sometimes if people are AFK the uh, game is going to report that and you can see that actually in the detailed screen I haven't seen it but I thought did I really pay attention to it but usually it's kind of obvious if that is the case uh, therefore we're going to see if we can spot if that was true but otherwise i mean it was still a fun game to play um i was playing mainly against volkarth and that went really really well and therefore i'm not going to blame myself or not or be less happy about the outcome of the game because we did a good job on getting the enemies here um and valheim wouldn't change a single thing about it because valheim wasn't there I thought about jumping into L'Oreal at this point. I even said to uh, Hayate that I sh I'm about to go in, but as you can see, that was super dumb. <laughs> I I even said like, okay, this is going to be uploaded on YouTube eventually, and if I'm going to upload it, I'm looking like a complete dumbass because that was so poorly executed that uh, well. You guys just have seen it. It, it it was not the smartest idea to jump behind l'oreal but it was i was so kill greedy sitting on five kills that i really wanted to get that kill in addition to the five that i have been scoring so far but i just got the um i just got the outcome out of that i i was rewarded with a death and that's ugh! not really nice uh, could have played that with a zero death toll but it didn't work out so now we've got a really nice situation lot of heroes that i can fight i get a double kill unfortunately i'm pressing enhanced restore a little bit too late my team was arriving um could have eventually be the case that i would have come out of that fight alive but i think a 7-2 score is not something that you uh, have to hold back it went really really well that game i had a good time against volkarth i think i was putting him in his tracks with not really that much of a problem i don't want to say that it was easy some of the fights were actually quite close but with richter against volkarth i think you are in a good position if you use the terrain in your favor and that's something that richter players should always be taken care of it's all about the terrain what buff do you get on what terrain um is there a movement speed buff is there some movement jump shenanigans that you can actually take into account and as you can see i went in decided to go back immediately because um that was of course not the the best thing to do now we're killing them off here we go there's Volkov again he's invincible right now we can't do anything against him but i do get an eighth kill here on the Volkov, and i think um that was um a lot of desperation in this attempt to get into the team fight wanted to fight baldoom here we're going to see how that ends i'm going to launch my ultimate here to deal a little bit more damage to him I think he hasn't got ultimate anymore, but he had, and uh, I was just stopped here in my tracks. There's nothing that I can do against it. I um, decided to go back to base right now because, as I said, that's a little bit more healthy to not um, force a fight when you're super, super low. Thanks, Derek, for telling me so because, um, yeah, sometimes I do forget to play a little bit more safely, but I think we had a really good time in the game so far so that i can allow myself to just chill a little bit 
not be on the super aggressive side. And in this scene, I think <clears throat> he has just been a little bit too slow on pressing the ultimate. I even do get a double kill here, leaving me on a 10-2. And now it's just a question of time until we can beat the game or throw it. And as you can see, most of the team was wiped. So there's not really that much force against this last attempt to get into the core. We are sitting right now on two towers trying to break them down. And uh, there's even another kill for Direx. So now that the enemy team is completely gone. L'Oreal is coming back. Um, but as you can see, we have the core in our hands. There's just little amounts of damage remaining. And we do get a really short, really well fought fight here with a victory. Um, <clears throat> it was not as good as yesterday we, where we are actually achieving a kill streak. A uh, winning streak, but I think it was a good showcase on what Richter is possible to achieve if you rather take the uh, the environment into your playstyle. Second best play here, uh, a lot of damage dealt, not so much damage taken. Fight participation could have been a little bit better, but I think that is the solo laner syndrome. We are basically not that great part of the game but 10 to 4 with 9000 gold second best gold here is super fine so i was super lucky with that and uh yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you hated it give us a thumbs down so that i know and if you haven't subscribed to the channel a subscription would be super nice to help me to achieve the 1000 subscribers finally i wish you a pleasant evening stay safe and stay healthy and enjoy your time on the battlefield good luck Thank you.